Hello, everyone. I'm going to get started in like 10 seconds because I got to go. But I couldn't go before doing something really important today. Um, and I hope that you all join me. I encourage you to all join me. Uh, this is really urgent. And I know a lot of you are preparing to be with your family during the holidays. Some of you might be at Mass ICNA Convention in Chicago. Hope to see you there because I will be there. Uh, but I wanted to um, start a challenge with all of you, and I'm going to challenge some folks. But what I'm going to do before I leave um, to go to a meeting is I am going to do something for our dreamers, for our undocumented young people and their families. And I hope that you do it because this is easy. Anybody can do it. We are all um, constituents. We all have members of Congress. Um, we all have people who represent us. It doesn't matter who you are, where you live in this country. We all have people who represent us and we need to be calling them. So my congressman is Congressman Dan Donovan. He is the only Republican in the New York City Council delegate. I mean, in the, excuse me, he's the only congressman in the New York City delegation that's Republican. So I'm going to call him and tell him um, to ensure that they he passes a DREAM Act or votes for a DREAM Act before the year is out. So we want him to do this before the Christmas holiday. We should not be going to a Christmas holiday uh, and time to be with our families and shopping and enjoying um, all the folks that will be coming to visit us or us visiting folks while our undocumented people are losing their dreamer status and potentially not going to be around um, to see their families next, next year. So I'm gonna call my Congressman. He is Dan Donovan. His number is uh, 202 225 3371. So 202 225 3371. Yes, hi, my name is Linda Sarsour, and I'm a constituent um, from the Brooklyn side of the congressional district. And I wanted to leave a message for the congressman, please. I'd like to um, ask him to please support the DREAM Act before the year is out. And as you know, every single day, 100 young people are losing their status. And we want to make sure that this happens before the year is out, because if it doesn't, it might not ever happen. So I want him to know that one of his constituents, and my name again is Linda Sarsour, um, wants him to support the DREAM Act. And we hope we can count on his support. Support of the DACA program, but I can pass your comments along. I appreciate that. So, um, so, so, do you know whether or not um, he would he would support a Dream Act if it came up to a vote as part of the budget process? Um, I don't know the answer to your particular question. In the past, he's he's uh, co-sponsored the Bridge Act and the RAC Act, uh, which are, are similar bills, but I'm just not sure. I pre I appreciate um your taking my call, and I would love for you to pass that message on to the congressman. Certainly. Thank you very much. So my apparently my congressman does support some version of the uh, the the Dream Act. So at least him hearing our voices and imagine if we all did this. So I'm going to end my Facebook Live, but before I do that, I'm challenging some folks and I will tag them. Also, I'm challenging Imam Umar Suleiman from Texas to do this. I'm challenging Dalia Mujahid. I'm challenging Abdul Sayed, candidate for governor in Michigan. Imam Khalid Latif, Dalia Fahmi from New Jersey and Zahra Bilu from California. Now you only have to tag three people. I am Linda, so I get to tag whoever I want. So do this, call your member of Congress, tag three people, make sure to use the hashtag Muslims for Dream um, and Dream Act now, and let's get this show on the road. So Imam Amr Suleiman, Dalia Mujahid, Zahra Bilu, Dalia Fihmi, Abdul Sayyid, uh, candidate for governor in Michigan. So let's get the show on the road. Love you and all my love to my dreamers. We got your back and we're going to continue to fight for you.